Good evening, everybody. I'm CJ Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. Obviously, nobody really knows when the next earthquake is going to hit or how strong it will be. But we can have a plan, and it helps to know what it feels like in a big earthquake. News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live with that. And John, you checked out an earthquake simulator today. Yeah, I felt that by sitting right in the simulator. And as a matter of fact, it rolled me, it jolted me, and it did give me the feel of a big earthquake, depending on how they change the settings. But the ultimate goal was to simulate a 7.0 magnitude quake and also to jolt us into double checking all of our readiness. This earthquake simulator stopped in Santa Barbara as part of an outreach to shake up the public. You really shake tremendously. You have to, I can see why you have to lay down on the floor, you know, get somewhere safe, but even hanging on would be very, very difficult. The California Office of Emergency Services wanted to get those inside to feel the power of an earthquake and understand the risks. You know, when you're at your house, what could fall down during strong shaking? You know, most people don't have everything braced as they should. Earthquake, drop cover, hold on. They also urge people to download a shake alert on their phone. And depending on where the quake is, you could get an advanced warning. And so if you're right on top of the earthquake, of course, you know, the earthquake's gonna be way faster than we could ever deliver a warning to you. However, when the big one strikes, you want to have that application downloaded because you may not be next to the epicenter and therefore you're going to get seconds of warning to be able to take protective actions such as drop, cover and hold on. Recently on the south coast, a 5.1 magnitude quake in Ojai tossed some items around in homes and stores and was just below the range of severe damage. In 1978, a magnitude 5.1 quake left some train cars derailed in Goleta. 65 people were hurt and the damage was in millions. The big one was in 1925. Santa Barbara was in rubble. What a massive quake hit, breaking apart many downtown buildings. It also cracked up the front of the old mission and left parts of the landmark Holy Building in ruins on the ground. It has happened right here is what we know. And so that's important to keep in mind um, and really make preparedness uh, a top of mind thing and not something left for later. Inside the simulator, I'm feeling the shaking now of an escalating earthquake. It started out slow and now it's really tossing me around to simulate a 7.0 quake. The Santa Barbara Missions quake was roughly around 6.3 in 1925. Hang on. 